hello and welcome back so in this class we are just about learning about the bootstraps tables the tables are really simple as just like the HTML but if you just add the class of the bootstrap then they will become something really interesting so all the thing which I'm just doing is a simple HTML and there this is the heading area of the table the T head and inside the T head I'm just creating some TDs and inside every TD what I'm just doing is this is the s dot no duplicate that and here this is the name and there it should be the paid okay and here not paid whatever you wanna type you can type there and then I'm just going down and just actually oh don't go inside the head. T head actually create the T body just after the T head just like I'm doing and then just go inside the T body and there just create the T or and inside the T or just create the TDs which is really important this should be the one and this should be the name which I'm just typing John whatever name you wanna type and the paid 500 and the not paid 200 just for showing you this is not the matter of what I'm just typing in the cells let's just simply duplicate all that values 2 and 3 I'm not changing any other thing because I just want to get the result so let's just cancel the old one and refresh that one so this is the table but it's it has nothing new just simple common but when I just go to the table tag and just put the class and there inside the class I'm just typing table now save that and go to the browser refresh that now you can see that the table has been set as the bootstraps table and then if I just press any space and type table because there are a lot of ways to create a table instead of just pressing a space I'm just simply copying this table and pasting after the previous table now you can see that this is a new ones table so the table class must be placed here and then just type table is stripped whatever you way you want when I just type table stripped now go to the browser and there I'm just refreshing this one now you can see that the this is a stripped class which is actually perfectly mannered now going there again oh one thing more I just want to clear you that this should not be the TD this should be the TH so I'm just correctifying this the version TH 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 and the last one's th well the next one has the same problem so th 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 this is not a really big deal for anyone but I just forgot to type the th first that is why I, I, I'm just watching that the result is same now if I just refresh that now you can see that the th is a little bold perfect well there is another way to create a best table to simply copy the previous one and paste just after that table here and go to the tables class and remove the table stripped to condensed save um, I think I'm just I just put the wrong spelling let's just test this refresh that now yeah I just put it the perfect spelling actually the condensed means actually removing extra space extra space around the element the padding and the margin which is called the condensed the table condensed again let's just paste the the table again and just remove the stripped what if I just type the hover save and go to the browser and refresh that one now the, what is the hover it is the same just like as the top one but when I just hover the mouse on the element over the element now you can see that it's hovering and showing us the hovered status well let's just duplicate the previous one again and here this shouldn't be the stripped or hover well I can type bordered okay bordered save that and refresh that one now you can see that it has the bordered effect perfect but if you just want the borders here with the hover effect as well so go to the top and then this is a simple class you if you just can work with the classes then you can you can understand what I'm just doing just putting two or three classes refresh that one now this has the borders this the second last one and also it is ha it has the hovering effect okay now it's looking much better than the previous one 
so I hope you understood about the tables something more I just want to clear you that if you just want to go there and actually for the top ones TR you want to apply a class of uh, danger you've learned about that danger is the red color info is light blue and now you can see that this is the red color okay now here class info save that and refresh that actually info has no effect here and there is a reason that the info has been applied on the th and the tr of this th has already have the danger class so cut that and paste it to the tr the another one tr and uh, let's just test this on the browser so refresh that one now you can see that the second number of john has the blue color the info and i'm just going there now I'm just applying the effect on a TD. I can apply the effect on the TD as well. So what I'm just going to do is warning, save and refresh. Now the warning effect is only on a single TD. But if I just apply any effect on the TR, so this class will be overlapped. Well, I'm just going there and just uh, putting another class, primary. Let's just check this on the browser, refresh that. Now, where is the primary effect I'm getting? Um, I think I just... Uh, well, I did a little mistake here. This shouldn't be the primary. Here, I should type the active. Actually, primary is nothing in tables. Refresh that. Now, here, this is the active class. You can see um, on the on the John. If I just type instead of John, the Sha, the my name refresh that one now you can see that the Shah has the grayish color this is the active effect of the table well primary is not in the table so I hope you understood all the things about the tables one thing more if I just type because I'm just teaching you the whole thing so why not I just put another the last one's class which is actually the success so save that and refresh that now the success is there so these are the whole classes of the table. No other class can be applied here, but you can make your own classes as well. So I hope you understood all the things about the tables in the bootstrap. We will learn some more things in the next class. Stay tuned and goodbye.